When I started these, first of all, I started working on them in February 2020 in Mexico. Oh, yeah. And it was yeah, a really yeah. different yeah. moment. And I was thinking much more about, like, who, who I was and mm. just, and kind of the idea of covering half, like, making a painting that filled in me and, co and having a, a square, uh, yeah. square piece of canvas that covers half the painting that kind of, it's very kind of straightforward mm. thing that like, oh, only, I'm only showing this much of myself publicly. Yeah. And, and then pandemic happened and I came back and was working and I felt like that wasn't honest mm. about what, what I was feeling. Mm. I felt like that was too simple. Mm. And, and that over a three or four month period became this, you know, mm. where it became uh, piles of shapes and sticks and, or forms that were cut out. Like the painting Harlequin, I, I wanted to kind of take the form of the patterns of, Har of Picasso's Harlequin as a starting point, but I actually made the, the it was the inside of yeah. that form that was yeah. the initial uh, abstraction I was gonna put over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that uh, was just naturally how I cut it out when I was cutting out yeah. it out of foam core to see how yeah. it was gonna look. And that was so much more mm. connected to mm. both that, my original idea and also was just like a much more interesting form yeah. that I just let that lead me sometimes. It's interesting too, because it, it plays with that like um, conceal reveal sort yeah. of positive negative totally, space type totally. of discussion as well. Um, I mean- And this painting was actually the same. Like that form <laughs> was just left over in my wood shop. Yeah which is a piece of, I just had cut this yeah. curve for something. Yeah. I think actually for that painting, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like I, cut, I was cutting that <laughs> on just one of them, I had just cut that curve and, uh, and it was just there and it was just sitting there like kind of haunting me. I was yeah. just like, such a beautiful like feminine form, but like almost yeah. like when you put them together, they almost became like arches, yeah. which I liked yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, it's really interesting because when you're saying that, you know, it brings me to something that I know being in the studio a lot, but that you're really, you know, you're hands on, you're making all these things. Yeah. You know, you have saws down there and you got lots of, you know, wood dust around. <laughs> and uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the, the process of actually making and how much was um, a kind of trial and error, like, you know, arrangement, a part of you yeah. know, what you did in the studio to put I, together this exhibition? I believe that the meaning in art comes from how it's made. And that doesn't just yeah. mean the physicality, it also means the con concept, yeah. you know, and that how you make your work. You can be going on walks and that can be how yeah. the work is made. But I think that you have to be uh, hands-on either in your mind or in, or in the physical aspect mm. of the studio. And, and um, yeah, I mean, all these works are panels that, you know, I, 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 I have this, this way of making the, the, the background composition, mm. the, the, the figurative element, I got a background, but the kind of the uh, kind of structure, like the, the wood. The, the initial, yeah, yeah, and especially the initial one, where when I start doing that, it becomes, it, 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 uh, it, it starts to open up other ideas. And, you yeah. know, the gluing, the assembling, just the kind of process nature of that. Yeah. Um, but with this work, the how these elements are placed on top and beneath and through is unlike a lot of the other ways mm. I work because mm. I don't really know exactly how it's going to be from the beginning to the end. Like, yeah. like I, 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 I might find the forms, and the forms might be right, although oftentimes mm. I have to remake them mm. several times. Mm. But even if they're right, I'm kind of layering them and placing them yeah. and on a, basically on a big ladder, staring yeah. above it, stepping down to move it a half inch or totally yeah. radically different. Well, the, the, the fitting together kind of puzzle-like yeah. aspect of the work has always been something I've really you know, found is a very compelling part of it. Um, but also that it doesn't fit together too perfectly. You can always see well, the, kind handmade of the wonkiness, quality, the yeah. handmade quality. Um, but it sounds like what you're talking about in terms of making these especially is a bit of trial and error. Of, a lot of trial know, and error, yeah. painful days of trial and error, yeah. Well, and that's a part of um, any kind of real meticulous craft and, and you know, yeah. thoughtful work. And I think it's, it's present in the finished works. Um, I think that they're simultaneously the most like uniform paintings I've made. Like, Somehow, like. Do you mean that in terms of? I mean, like canvas. I all mean, being the same kind of. No, I mean no. that in terms of like comp, like formal, just maybe like formal composition. They have like a certain like completeness that I feel other paintings, other I don't know. To me, they feel like each one is its own uh, uh, ecosystem uh, uh, compositionally that mm -hmm. like keep you moving in and out and mm -hmm. back and mm -hmm. right and the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But they're also like mo my most complex some like, like conceptually as well. You know, they're dealing so much with like the pandemic, you know, and with like yeah. 
how going from from where it was really just like the bare flat canvas before yeah. or the painted leads or whatever to to now these kind of pile ups and cutouts like mm -hmm. how we like really trying to take on work that expresses how I felt or how we felt during the last like 18 or 20 months and the complexities maybe the beauties and the unresolvedness like part of it is intentionally going back to the bare canvas was yeah. that this moment is not it is not and never will be resolved in a way and not only did I want it to feel completely resolved but I also wanted it to feel like there was this potential to do more or to change and that's why I left the idea of the bear because it could be it is to be painted on. Mm. So almost all of them were done after I finished this work, and it's all the same work. That's the only thing I did before. So that's kind of like the preliminary yeah. drawing. Yeah. And then I also did that one mocked kind of it up. the mocked up with yeah. the cardboard, which I liked. And then the rest of these I've kind of been like these are monoprints. Yeah. What? Okay, I was going to ask. They're but monoprints, but how? And so what are you are you drawing with your finger? And so like so this part is w watercolor. Yeah. And this is oil. Oh, and so cool. that's how it so has that. Stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it has that weird reaction. But what this did is I was doing these drawings, trying to find like how what I was going to do next with it. Yeah. And this actually was like oh this like this idea, and actually I have to give a little credit to Constanza because she was talking mm -hmm. about oil painting, and these drawings, and she was like these show like the things that are underneath on top, like the yeah. simultaneous surface, and that's yeah. something that's really cool yeah. that you can't, that's like you don't have to just do that with printing, but you can do that in oil painting too, huh. and you should, like that should be your way back in. And, it's all know. about layering in, in all aspects that's what, of the That's work. what yeah. she was saying, she actually yeah. used that word. Um, when, did you, when did you make these compared to when you saw the I mean, Jasper Brown show? When I made the Jasper John show, when did you I mean, see I was, the? I'm saying, when did you make them compare? I was to working on this them? yesterday, so uh, yeah. yeah, and then because they're they're yeah. like straight in that in the way that Jasper Johns is always, you know, somewhere in dialogue. Which you're on, always somewhere in dialogue with the. Work. But you're talking about in terms of like the like salon the wall or no, just like the no of these specifically. Interesting. I never know. thought about them in terms of numbers. That's kind of cool yeah, that. like zero, one, two, three, four, five. You know, like where there's just kind of this these beautiful things that happen when the colors you know kind of are, are brought together with the kind of flat of, of I thought about them more in terms of John's as the idea of like what to paint and then you have your John says his things yeah. and he just doesn't he's like oh I'm, you know he paints yeah. like the the number 2 for like 2 years yeah. you know yeah. and I thought well I have this incredible opportunity because I've I've already built in because I've been working with like the the like this form for like almost eight years now yeah. that like and the most recent addition with these kind of elements on top that I can do that to just like why why am I trying yeah. to paint anything else why don't I just paint my my forms and my yeah. paintings because it's yeah. already so built into the like the dialogue within it at this point.